Hey everyone. What's going on guys, unofficial MCU here, hope you're all doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing a Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, and a connection to Hawkeye. We're going to go ahead and hop right on into it for what we may anticipate and expect to see here for the upcoming movie. In this video we are going to be taking a read from the Direct's article, I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, the Marvels is said to feature an unexpected connection to the Hawkeye show on Disney+, Plus, according to one of the MCU. MCU's film's producers. Captain Marvel 2, The Marvels, will bring a major trio of heroines together for the film, Carol Denver's Monica Rambeau and the youngster Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, the latter of which is one of the youngest heroes in the entirety of the MCU, only at 16 years old. Miss Marvel is also known as arguably the biggest in-universe superfan of all thing superheroes, setting up an intriguing mentor-mentee relationship between her and her idol, Captain Marvel. Recently speaking in the latest issue of Total Film Magazine, the Marvel's producer, Mary Livinos, discussed Miss Marvel's inclusion as part of the film's cast and how it compares to a relationship seen in the MCU's Hawkeye show. The producer, Mary Livinos, had compared Miss Marvel's relationship with Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, to the relationship develops between Clinton Barton, Hawkeye, and Kate Bishop in the Hawkeye show, confirming that there is a bit of a connection between Hawkeye and the Marvel's exploration of the hero worship. She had explained how some characters Characters think that heroes can fix any problem, but in the case of Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, fans will see instances of where people's decisions regarding heroes can sometimes make things worse. Saying that, in quote, we are all prone to fall into similar trappings when it comes to hero worship. You think that heroes can fix any problem, but in this movie, we actually examine how sometimes decisions you make in an attempt to make things better can sometimes make things worse and have a cassanding effect uh, spirals out of your control. And that quote right there, I feel like that if for anything, well yes, for one thing, Miss Marvel is going to get in the way of Monica Rambeau and Captain Marvel, I feel like that's kind of a given she's not going to be like an, an annoyance by any means, like a horrible like inconvenience for them, but she's going to cause some problems, just just part of being a youngster, but however I will say I think that this may set up some problems that lead us into the events of the Kang Dynasty and those upcoming Avengers movies in some shape or form or another, that is something that has been teased before for what we are going to see with Captain Marvel 2. Now, this story will give viewers a chance to see Captain Marvel through the eyes of Miss Marvel, of how and why she looks up to her necessarily outside of the Miss Marvel show, especially as Carol Danvers looks to grapple with what has become of her actions, as she says that also in a quote. So while we're seeing Carol Danvers grapple with what she has become of her actions, we are also able to see what's processed through the eyes of Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. We actually experience forgiveness through the eyes of another person that can be freeing for the person who might not be able to forgive themselves. Ending that quote right there, in a sense of that, well, Miss Marvel is looking up to the, the Captain Marvel character and forgives her for the mistakes that she may make, essentially, I think is what she's saying. Now, with Kamala having her own view of how Captain Marvel operates as a superhero, this film will see that stripped back as Iman Villani's hero learns exactly what her idol is really all about, the ins and outs and the flaws. She looks to her as like this almighty, like almost like a god character to a point and she's going to see those flaws with like uh, Captain Marvel and her overall character the mistakes that she does actually make saying that in quote little Miss Marvel has this ideal view of Carol Denvers and we see that stripped back and Miss Marvel gets to know her hero for who she actually is or was in an interesting deconstruction that really warmed our hearts ending that quote right there this is a similar thing to what Kate Bishop star Haley Seinfeld had said about her character in, in a recent interview with Entertainment weekly before, noting how Kate's fandom goes deeper than just the fans that come up to him and want to take a picture with the bow welding Avenger, saying that in quotes, what we see with the fans that come up to him and want to take a picture with him, it's like they're recognizing him in a public setting and being excited about the fact that he's in a place that they wouldn't have expected to actually see him, ending the quote right there. It just goes into a deeper, like, looking up to this overall uh, character overall. It's not just like, oh, it's cool seeing this character out in public, or rather character, superhero, uh, mind you, really, I think, at that, like, talking in the universe, of course. But it becomes much more of where these, like, younger heroes see themselves and these older heroes. Now, for Kate herself, she discovers Hawkeye at a time of extreme loss in her own life, following her father's passing in the Battle of New York, recognizing Barton's ability to help people and wanting to bring that into her own life, also saying that in quotes. So, they want to document it, and we don't necessarily know if they're lifelong fans or not. 
but with Kate, we do know. She made this discovery of Hawkeye at the time of extreme loss in her life, and she sees him as part of what she has lost. This human who has an ambitious and maybe a little recklessness that, as she is, someone who wants to help people and wants to protect people. She recognizes that part of him. That's what she idolizes. Ending that quote right there. I think that's exactly heavily with what we're going to see kind of like, in a way, not in a bad way, but copy and paste over from that show, the Hawkeye show, of between that relationship between uh, Kate Bishop and Hawkeye, and then bringing that for uh, Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel here, essentially. So with Miss Marvel playing such a key leading role in Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, it's no surprise to see that her story will be such a vital piece of the plot. Specifically, of course, with her relationship with Captain Marvel, Carol Denvers, and with a more younger Avengers taking the spotlight in recent projects on Disney Plus and in some of the movies, seeing Kamala's relationship with her own idol coming through similar to how we see Kate Bishop and Hawkeye really isn't too shocking, to be honest. And it's not a bad thing either. I think, if for anything, it's great and it has a lot of opportunity to expand more on these like young Avengers heroes and even set up a project for them, whether it's a Disney Plus special, a whole show, or even a whole movie. This will be especially true with Kamala Khan still being in the early stages of her superhero journey after the events of her own solo show. And not just with that, but also with now Miss Marvel being rumored to be a more like larger like piece and a more key piece of the entirety of the multiversal saga that we're seeing the MCU moving forward with, with Phase 4, Phase 5, and Phase 6, so on and so forth. Moving forward, meaning her upcoming adventure in this movie will be a key piece of the puzzle to pay attention to as Captain Marvel returns to the spotlight. Not just with that, but also taking into account that Captain Marvel 2 is more rumored to be one of the most important movies in the multiversal saga ahead of Avengers The Kane Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars, setting up a lot of things for those two upcoming movies. As I have kind of mentioned in and out of videos here on the channel, I really view the Marvels, Captain Marvel 2, almost as this like a mini Avengers movie, essentially. We're seeing this team up between a couple of the most powerful like characters in the MCU. So it really does have a lot of potential and a lot of opportunity to kind of like expand more on these characters here overall. Now, the Marvels is still going to be coming out this year on November 10th, despite many of the delays that have been overtaking Hollywood recently with the ongoing strikes. This year, all being said, I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you want to see with Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, especially with that relationship between Ms. Marvel and Captain Marvel? Let me know what you guys are all thinking in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this is an unofficial MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.